Hey, I'm Uko Fu here about the latest changes to mobile VR station. Let's start off with Android 12 fixes. So when you click on enable manage all files, well, it's actually gonna put this little information help behind the screen so that you can then, you know, better tell, you know, what you are meant to do since you can't still see this little uh, slider button since it won't record system screen. So I'm just gonna close it now, but you make sure you turn that on and then it tells you to hit the Oculus button. So, all right, I'm back in. All right, and now let's go back into local files. Let's go into all folders, Android, like if we're setting up scope storage. Now we have a couple of things we can do. So let's say I want to set it up again. So I want to request access. All right, and now it's going to put little help here at the bottom again. You know, like on the pop up, you know, tap use this folder. You know, so use this folder. Oh, look, I didn't get the allow thing so i need to hit button go back and now we need to crash to reset and now here's a nifty trick i learned double tap home all right get back home you can sometimes just use the um voice commands to just tell it home that works let's see can i go, go back and nope it crashed so Library, mobile of your station, and that should re restart it. Let's try, try again, because this is the tricky part. Okay, local files, all folders, Android data. Let's request again. Use this folder, and now it will allow. All right, now I need to use this crash button. So let's say crash apply, skip to, this is apply. And let's see if this works. Home button or Oculus button, Oculus button. I can't make it out. I, I can't make it out. So double. double, 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 double. Now I've got home, home media voice screen. So let's try to open up the app again. Oh, hey, look. And it says, if you can see this, then it worked. Let's verify. Step four. All right. Verification is successful. So look. This string came back from the Android software, so we now have access to that folder, so that worked. All right, so that's how you can now verify. So let's go to scope storage and go over some of the new things. So one important thing is I tried to make this thing a little bit more safer now. So at the top of the screen, like, you know, all you can do now is change the sorting because you're still in kind of the dangerous folder. So let's say, for example, I'm going to go into stress level bone lab. All right, still, I can't do anything. I go into files. Now the view edit toggle shows up in scope storage. So I can go into mods and I can view edit toggle. I can choose things. I can copy and I can erase. Now you do it through the view edit toggle, just like you would do through the non scope storage area. Now, let's go over some more things. So let's say this repository is .txt. So let's say for some reason, I want to take it and move it somewhere else. So view edit toggle, go to the bottom, repository. So I'm going to click it. I'm going to say copy. I've now copied it. And now I'm going to now go into my downloads folder. Go into bone lab and let's paste it in. All right now, inside here is my repository text file that I copied in. All right now, let's say I want to install this Duke Nukem skin for Bone Lab. Click its little zip icon, and then this is a scope storage, so we're going to install scope storage. All right, and then I'm going to choose Bone Lab Mods. All right, and now it has installed it. Now, let's go to ADVR or Ancient Dungeon. So this one has been trouble, but I rewrote some of it now, so it should work. So let's say the fantasy weapon Gunblade. Click its little icon. And then this one is not actually inside scope storage. So you go to install mod. And hey, it's the only one that's not inside scope storage. Click on it and then it installs and it has all the old options like it used to have because it's outside. So that works now too. You can copy and paste files from here into scope storage. You can also do that now too. 
Let's see if you have, um, let's go into here, creation date. Like if you have music for Ragnarok, you can also, you know, uh, go to install scope storage and then choose Ragnarok custom songs. Then it will install it for you too. And then I think that's the bulk of the changes now. Um, actually, wait, there's one more. If I go to modding information, now the options have been slimmed down to actually account for what it is. So this one only has lets you view the mod folder scoped. And then if I go to Ancient Dungeon, I can view the mod folder standard because it's outside of that uh, folder. And uh, I believe that is the main thing other than the little guy in the corner's eye is now glowing. And if I get, uh, if I don't step on everything, it is a 3D object over there. So kind of neat. All right. Well, thanks for listening to me ramble on about mobile ear station. Uh, I hope I can get some more updates out. I think I'm still stuck in the verification nightmare at the moment. So I may not be able to push any updates out after the end of this month until that's like resolved. So uh, thanks. Thank you.